Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I'm bringing you guys an Adobe After Effects tutorial focusing around typography. Now a bunch of you guys have been asking for a tutorial on how to make typography so here it is guys. Um, so typography is basically going to be a video file focused around an audio um, file. So basically what it will do is as the audio file plays it's going to pop up your text um, on the screen with, as the words are said. Um, so I did take a uh, the time out to make a seven second clip just to kind of show you guys what we're going to be recreating. So uh, here it is. Middle finger to my old life, old life. cold nights makes being this hot feel so nice. All right, guys. So that was made really simple, really easy, and um, we should just hop right on into it and get started. So let's hop into our composition and say new composition. Our composition name we're just going to name it typography. And let's set the width and height to 1920 by 1080. And let's just make it about 10 seconds. Uh, you can pick whatever your background color you want it to be. So I'm going to have it to be a little bit more of a darker gray. Um, it's going to be 2C, 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 2C. So if you guys want to use the same color, and we're going to hit OK. All right, so here I have my composition. And then what we want to do is bring in our audio file. So whatever audio file you want to create a typography out of, I just made a sample. Um, and it basically says that this is just a tutorial. So we're going to bring that on in to After Effects. So let's drop that into our project file. And if we see we have sample right here, we're just going to bring that down here. All right, so now I have that. So what we want to do is just zoom in on this a little bit more. Uh, and we're actually going to just bring our render slider down there as well, just because we don't need uh, to render a bunch of stuff. So we're just going to uh, render it to about 201, as you guys see up here in our work area. So after we have that, what we want to do is preview our audio. Now to preview your audio, you can do one of two things. You can either press this little guy, and this will play the audio. So if we listen, this is just a tutorial. So as you guys see, it just said um, my uh, my words. But what we're going to want to do is uh, we're actually going to need to keyframe where exactly those um, audio uh, spectrums are going to be. So if we open up our waveform uh, and we look at it, we can hold down Control if you're on a Windows um, computer, and you can hit con uh, Command if you are on a Mac. So if we hold down Control, since I'm on my Windows computer. This, 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 this. Uh, you guys can see that it is going to play there. So right there, it says this. So what you want to do is you want to make whatever slide you're going to be. So I'm. It's going to say this is just a tutorial. So what I want to do is type out all those words. So I want to say this is just a. Tutorial. And let's make this all capital letters as well. All right, guys. And if you uh, want to make it look um, like an actual typography, you guys are going to want to use a typography text. I'm using Typograph Pro. I will link it down in the description below so you guys can go download it as well. Um, but yeah, so what we want to do is we want to put these letters um, uh, slash words into a kind of combustion that's going to look kind of cool. So uh, for this, we're going to make it a little bit bigger by selecting our typing tool. We're going to hit Control A to select all of it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and uh, we're going to just place that right there. So this is, and I'm going to make the is a little bit bigger as well. So it looks like that. And then we're going to move the just right there. Uh, we'll also make the a just a tad bit bigger by going and putting it right there and then we'll move tutorial down here and we'll just make that thing huge as well now what we can also do is play around with how the text looks so if you're using the typograph pro you can control a go uh, drop down this one that says light and you can actually make it um, look however you want so I'm going to have this one be extra bold the just I want to make ultra light and let's say that we want this ultralight as well. All right. So now we have that kind of typograph feel. So now we can actually uh, implement the typography um, effect. So what we want to do is again find where it says this. So if I hold down Control and I just click, this, this, this. this. So it starts right there. So we're going to keyframe one back. I'm going to select this. 
I'm going to hit T on my keyboard, which is going to open up the opacity. I'm going to turn it all the way down and then I'm going to keyframe it right there. And then I'm just going to come up here to my preview. I'm going to go to next frame and then I'm going to turn it up back up to 100%. So now we want to find where it says is. Is, 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 so is. Right, so right there, as you guys heard, it's saying the is part. So we want to hit T on is. We want to keyframe one back, turn it down to 0%, keyframe it right there. Go to our next keyframe and scroll up to 100% as well again. Now we can just close those. Let's find where I say just. Is, 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 is. Just, just, just. All right, so I think I say just, just, just. So right there, I start saying just. So we want to hit T on just right there. Keyframe one back. We want to make sure that that's keyframed at zero percent. Hit next keyframe, and go up to a hundred percent again. So now we want to find where I say a. So I start saying a right there. So I'm going to hit T right there. Turn the opacity all the way down. Then next keyframe. And then I start saying tutorial right about here. Tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. So right there I start saying tutorial. So I'm going to select tutorial, turn the opacity all the way down, next keyframe, and now I want it to be at 100%. And uh, when you're making multiple slides, you're going to want to put one slide and you're going to want to pre-compose it. So this would count as one slide. So I'm going to hit this. And then I'm going to hold shift and select all of them up to tutorial. Then I'm going to hit shift control C. That's going to pre-compose it. So I'm just going to say first slide and then I can hit OK. And now that's going to pre-compose it. So now if I just go all the way back and we uh, render it real quick. This is just a tutorial. So as you guys see, it's a typography now. So this is just a tutorial. So pretty cool. And then you guys can add some more effects. Um, if you have like magic bullet looks, uh, that's what I usually use. Um, I just add in our effects. So if I were to go into here and just go to magic bullet looks, open up looks, hit edit. Um, and then I can go to looks. And I usually use Blockbuster for them. And then if you just hit finished, now you have some really nice looking text. Um, along with uh, you guys can also apply it to the background if you guys wanted to so guys that's pretty much how you guys make a typography effect um, if you guys did want it to like let's say like move off the screen um, you guys can of course do that just by selecting the first slide hitting P um, keyframing the position wherever it is and then you want to obviously uh, move it down your timeline and uh, move the position to wherever you were so if I were here at um, Let's just say a minute and uh, sorry, a second and 30 frames. I want to position it right there. And then I want to go to two. What I would do is just move it on over. So now I would have it um, ending up like this. So when it would play, this is just a tutorial. Uh, it would, oh, sorry, it did not let it render out completely. Um, you, as you see, it's going to move off the screen, just like it's showing on the screen right there for you. So pretty simple stuff, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot. It helps these videos coming. Um, if you guys do have any future requests for any tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. You guys can also tweet me, Facebook me, Instagram me, or you can, of course, private message me. Um, and let me know what you guys' thoughts on on any uh, upcoming tutorials. So, guys, until next time, my name's Andrew. I'm signing out.